Previously on Africa's Next Top Model, it was Rulani from South Africa that the judges sent packing. You're leaving us. Don't worry. This is not the end, okay? And while there were some tears, not everyone was sad to see her go. I don't want to sleep in that room. Excuse me? Please don't. Comment. I'm not good. You are the comment. If you're not good enough, you'll be going home whether you like it or not. So, it's evidence the judges have seen that Rulan is not good enough. So, they sent her home. And I'm like, yeah. Now, just seven girls remain. And tonight, they will face their toughest challenge yet. Now, let me introduce you to your co-star. With their most difficult co-stars. In Nigeria, we eat goats. Go on, go on, go on, go on. So, should we get the models back inside? I think I've just caused a riot. It's frustrating sitting here and not being able to get any shot. For me, this doesn't work. So if you don't want this, you need to make up your mind. Do you want to be here? No play makes top models dull girls. So go out and explore the beautiful city of Cape Town. P.S. Lunch on me. Love, Aluchi. We were all waiting for Aluchi Mel to give us our next task, and it turns out we get an off day. Yay, no work today. Come on and make some noise. Then we go to the beach, Camps Bay Beach. Well, I have a beautiful view from the house, but this is the beach. There's sand, there's shells, so you get to collect shells, you get to play in the water. Oh. Ghana has got some, some parts of it, like Accra, my city. That is like um, Cape Town. And then some other parts, not so much, but Cape Town is winning, I think. It was really nice. To have some relaxation mentally and physically. We've been working so hard, literally just work, work, work non stop. So we get home after a long day and we get another Oluche mail. Two Oluche mails in one day is kind of creepy. Oluche mail! 
hope you enjoyed your day in one of my favorite cities, Woo! Cape Town. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you must be missing your loved ones by now. Yes. So, phone calls home for everyone. Yeah. Can all phone our family. Yay! Another opportunity to phone my family again. So I called my father and my younger sister. Coming up. Good morning, ladies. Welcome to Mandela Park. They tell us we're about to meet our co stars and they bring out a goat. another Oluchi mail saying that we're going to be shooting Couture and the Hood with an icon and with a goat. Oh, yeah. So then we're all like, huh? Goats. Goats. Oh, yes. <laughs> what are goats supposed to be doing in the picture? Like, seriously, they're supposed to be in the zoo or on the farm or on our plates. With goats? No. Let's go to the zoo. With some goats. As long as hurt. it's a baby then the goats. Goats bumps you. Like actual goats. Yes, you want to see it. Today's challenge is going to be like nothing they've ever done. We have a South African fashion icon in Marianne Fassler with her new summer collection, teaming up with Africa phone giant Eti Salat, along with photographer Freddie Childs Villiers, who has such an amazing concept. Eti Salat is also giving out a reward for this challenge, so the pressure is on. So we arrive in the township and everybody's looking very puzzled. I mean, we see the environment and we are thinking this is meant to be a f like a couture fashion shoot. I thought this was supposed to be glamorous. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. And welcome to Mandela Park. Today we are doing an advertorial for Eti Salat. And along with that, the brand new summer collection, Leopard Frock, designed by the incredible Marianne Fassler. Marianne Fassler is one of South Africa's most inspirational and recognized designers. She has won numerous awards, both locally and internationally. And she has been a mentor to many young designers who are currently making a name for themselves in the industry. So we're wearing Marion Fassler. You have no idea how huge this lady is. I mean, she's an icon. Marion Fassler is a huge name in South Africa, so it's, it's extremely honorable to have worn her clothes. So the shoot concept today is Township Couture. And what this is about is showing that Eti Salat links people from all over Africa with the world. The winner of today's challenge will win an iPad. <laughs> Seriously, you don't know what to expect of the shoot. Literally, township, goats, and township. Freddie Child Gouliers is a commercial photographer working out of Cape Town and London. He has worked for the likes of High Flyer magazine and the Four Seasons Resort. He was recently named Elle Magazine Photographer of the Year. Okay, girls, today you will each be showing off Eti Salat's connectivity by using one of these devices. If you're supposed to rock the dress and rock Etsy Salat in one other hand, I, it's going to be hectic. Now let me introduce you to your co-stars. Ladies, this is Samurai. 
You will all be working with a whole lot of samurai. Isn't he cute? I eat good. I don't know if I like them, like something I want to deal with, or animals I want to pet, or something. In Nigeria, we eat goats. Hmm. Isewu. Yes, I love eating that a lot. The Nigerian girls, when they see goat, they see food. Because they eat goats. So as you know, you're going to have to control all of this. Your device, your clothing, make sure your face looks amazing and control a herd of goats. You've got a lot to think about today. Normally in a shoot, I have to worry about the designer's clothes, I mean showing them off well. But now I have to worry about showing off the phone well, showing off the designer's clothes well, and stubborn goats. I mean, uncontrolled goats too. Should we do this? Yeah. Let's do it. If that goat doesn't work with me today, I would have it for lunch. No, no. No, I've no, never no. eaten goats. I've had crocodile ones, so, though, but never goats. Their eyes freak me out, so I don't want to eat them. Coming up. So, should we get the models back inside? I think I've just caused a riot. It's frustrating sitting here and not being able to get any shot. If she really doesn't want to be here and doesn't want to do this, then she should go home because she's taking one of our spots. Today is Township Couture and we are doing bright. We're doing bright cheeks, we're doing bright matte mouths, we're doing bright eyeliner, and we're doing the funkiest architectural hair and afros, and we're doing hair wraps. It's a very exciting day, all in all. Hi, Michelle. Hi. I'm Freddie, your photographer nice today. You. How comfortable are you with dogs? Very comfortable. So, yeah. goats? So comfortable. Cool. Comfortable with all animals. These are your partners for the shoot. Loving it. We're going to be standing, if we can have you stand just back there. Cool. Sort of where we've got all these kids now. Um, okay. And you've got 30 frames to get, you know, to get your shot. Have fun. Go with it. And also don't, don't try not to grab samurai's horns. For the first time ever, I was the first girl up to shoot. Usually I'm last, which I thought would be a plus. Little did I know how interested the locals would become. And then suddenly, a few of them were getting upset. And then, before I knew it, it was just escalating into like this mini little riot. Yes, I'm going to win. No, I'm not. 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 No, I'm I think I've just caused a riot. We're trying to ask everyone if they wouldn't mind standing behind the camera, and they're just not interested, they're not having it. Um, got some guys getting pretty irate, but it'll work, it'll work. You ready? Guys, standing by. Step this way just a little bit so we can see your full body. This shoot is extremely difficult and intense. There's so much going on. I've got the cell phone that I need to be aware of with the branding. I've got these millions of necklaces taking over my whole neck. And I've got a handbag. And I've got the goats that you cannot control and the heels on this uneven ground and all these people watching. But when the goats are here, because you've got a sort of strip of light coming through, okay. so if you sort of make yourself long with that light, okay. we'll be able to see your full garment, you know, holding the goat's phone right out. Just to play with it. I'm trying to focus on my shoot, and I just have eyeballs staring at me in every possible direction. From there, from there, from there, from up there, it's, it's a lot of people that are watching. Okay, one more. 
Awesome. I thought Michelle did really well. Um, I mean, it's not easy. She had a sort of tricky bit to begin with, with the crowd behind her, and sort of angry guy that came and fiddled with our poly boards. But no, I mean, she did really well. Hi, I'm Freddie. Shandro. I walk into the shoot and I meet Freddie Child. And he looks like such a sweetheart. He looks like he's too young to be here. And all of the other girls loved him, obviously. With your phone? You can use it as a Watch product. out for the, uh, for the logo. We need to see the logo. Keep twisting. So you're facing the light. This challenge earned its right to be called a challenge. There were goats pulling on me. I had to watch the clothes because it's very expensive couture. There was a lot of styling going on. I had to focus on the phone. People were screaming and shouting and cheering. And you still have to focus on the photographer and getting your best picture. The ground was so unstable. I kept falling around more than anything else. Try and relax. Went well, she, I think she struggled with the goats a little bit to begin with, and also the iPad, you know, it's a big, it's a big thing to hold. So it's not, I mean, the phone is one thing, but she ended up covering up a lot of, a lot of the top, you know, and I kind of thought, tuck it away, you know, use it a little bit more. I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to go all out and have every picture be unique. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm nervous <laughs> and cold. But I hope the, the goats behave. Now I'm walking onto the shoot, the actual set, and I see we've got spectators. It's like they're watching a soccer match or something. It's like chaos. They're shouting, they're talking. And, and when they see me, they start laughing. I don't know if I look like a clown to them because of my makeup and my, you know, accessories and everything. If you're gonna rest your foot on the goat, just do it sideways, because otherwise it looks like you're kicking the goat. Then there's the uneven ground with my oversized shoes that I have to keep myself stable so that I don't fall. Everything is just very messy right now. It's just messy, messy, messy. Again, try and mix it, mix it up. Do something that's, that's sort of different, because a lot of the girls have sort of stood there, held the goats, looked pretty with the phone. Try and, you know, get that shot that's going to make yours completely different from all the others. OK. OK? These goats are just going and just yanking me and I don't weigh much, I say it all the time. So I was really worried about the goats just like lounging forward and me on the floor <laughs> just dragging behind them. Just reset it so stand up and then we'll try again because it's great when the goats are moving and you're moving. Every shot I had, every chance that I got, I just had to give it. Well done. That was really cool. That was really, really good. That last one, did you get it? We did, yeah. Sure, we... <laughs> she did really well. She did really well. So far, my favorite. <laughs> I'm not very friendly with animals, so it's not like I'm going to smile with them. It means pulling them to my side, I will. You like, you like goats? No. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, don't, don't be afraid of them. They're very tame. OK. Um, and you can do anything with them okay. and try and ignore them okay. so so you know don't don't let them overpower me overpower you exactly okay cool. okay the locals are everywhere they're in my shot they're everywhere they're screaming they're chanting words they're saying different things and i trip it was nasty <laughs> <laughs> so these costas of mine are very mannerless. They're trying to eat off my, my jewelry and then they're trying to pull me because I mean they're stronger than me. Like how am I supposed to deal with this situation? Use the length of your legs and your arms and things. Okay? Because at the moment it's very safe and it looks it looks great, 
but it's very safe. I want to see, you know, some length and some sort of different shots. Okay. My boats are really strong. I had this to work on my arm. It's like I had, I feel like this was spoiling how to hold my phone and how to hold the goats. So it was really challenging. Two stubborn goats. You'll be fine. <laughs> In Nigeria, anybody that is stubborn, we call that person a goat. So now we don't just have one, we have two to deal with. There you go. Go for it, go for it. Move the. I fed the goats from my hands. After that shoot, I had to sanitize my hand with hand sanitizer. No, it's brilliant. She's doing really, really well. Okay. Selfie, selfie. Brilliant, strong. I thought Poppy nailed it. I really, you know, she was super keen. The minute the goats came out, she just, you know, put her fears aside and she just worked with them. I liked it when the goat jumped on me and I gave the goat food, like, they were like dogs to me, you know, like nice, sweet pets, not bush goats. <laughs> Hi, I'm Freddie. Joyce. Good to meet you, Joyce. Joyce, because of all the people, we got to keep it quite, quite cramped. So kind of anywhere within this area, you're fine. And I've been told that you're the only one with flats. So I'm expecting lots of movement from you, all right? And over the top, don't be afraid, OK? One, two, three. I'm struggling really bad because I have, they expect so much from me because I'm wearing flats and they expect so much movement. And now the photographer is asking me to jump and I'm trying not to choke on my handbag and my necklace and the goat is dragging me the other direction. The necklace is pulling me the other direction. So, dear me. Let's, let's do something different. So let's put her back in the middle here and let her work, work those five. The whole thing is new to me. The type of picture, the props, the the whole concept in its own but it's new to me. I, I don't, I've never seen it before. I've never done it before, so I don't know if I'm doing it right. After my shoot, the only thing I have on my mind what I can think about right now is did I really do the right thing? Because I believe me, I was struggling. Just kind of going into herself, and she's not modeling, she's just standing. It's frustrating sitting here and not being able to get any shot. If we just left the goats to roam. Okay. Uh, I want to try and sort of every pot that you see the light, try and move a little. You know, don't be afraid, all right? One of the challenges that she has, the goats, the bag, the foam, which is the client. Without the goats, that's part of the challenge, Claire. Yeah, she just welled up. I think she was terrified of the goats and she couldn't get over it. He's so strong and pushing me all the time. <laughs> so I don't know. Now I need to wait tomorrow. <sighs> That's not the deal. House meeting, write something negative, write something positive. Mm. <laughs> We're having a house meeting, and I really want to try and find out what the hell is going on with Michaela. She's so disconnected, she's not focused, and all she's ever telling us is, I want to go home, I pack my bag now. I don't get it. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Michaela <laughs> is such a great model. But. <laughs> it seems like she doesn't want to be here. 
Someone please explain. <laughs> Over to you. Yep. Say that. I said it. Why? Because you're such a good model and you're never happy with your picture. You're never happy with anything and you're always crying and you're saying you don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. My shirt today is a simple. But you say that for every shirt. <laughs> and every picture, the, the judges love your picture and you're like, <laughs> So there's a general feeling about Michaela not wanting to be a model and not wanting to be here. So if she really doesn't want to be here and doesn't want to do this, then she should go home because she's taking one of our spots. It's only fair. I feel that you prefer your job. No, no. no I think no. you don't know you don't nothing about my story. life. So yeah. Yeah. Don't I think that's the problem is. And she I'm doesn't want to lose. Oh, you oh, don't oh, need oh, to oh, say, oh, so okay. nobody needs this to say. Yes. I don't want to talk about my life anymore. I don't want to talk about whatever. I don't want to talk about my family, my sister. Because I think the people think um, she miss, she miss home, she miss family or whatever. And she don't want to be here. Maybe it's because this Chandra said that. But I think everybody here misses someone. We get this death mail and the whole mood just drops to the floor and shatters. And I'm thinking, who's gonna go home this time? This is getting so unpredictable. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hi ladies, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. you will face the judges. Yeah, Unfortunately, another girl will be leaving the house and we will be left with only six. Good luck and good night, Aluchi. Rub it in. She says nothing about the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a. Uh, I'm getting used to everybody, and apart from the fact that I don't want to go home, you know, it's sad that somebody would have to leave amongst us, and that brings it back to me that I'm not here to joke, I'm here for a competition. Coming up. For me, this doesn't work. You blew me away. So if you don't want this, you need to make up your mind. Hi, ladies. Hi. Before we start, just a quick reminder that the overall winner of this competition will walk away with a modeling contract with DNA Model Management in New York. I have seven of you standing before me, but in a few minutes, we're gonna go down to six girls. But before we start, let's say hello to our judges. Model icon and photographer, Josie Borain. <laughs> Resident judge and photographer, Remy Adetiba. And our special guest judge for today, my personal favorite and an African doyen in the fashion industry, Mariam Fasla. Your last challenge for Etisalat, you were supposed to be a 21st century African woman who is extremely opinionated and aware of her heritage wearing Marianne Fassler design. Let's see how you guys did. Amito, let's start with you. Hi, Amito. How did you think you did in the shoot? I think that I tried my best during the shoot and okay. I hope that my best has paid off. I think Amito, this is a beautiful shot. It's strong. You're making a connection with the uh, with the viewer, and I think the only thing here that's really missing is we're not seeing enough of the brand that you're or the product you're selling as as a phone. I believe that you were actually quite scared of the goats. 
Yeah, which doesn't help, unfortunately. I, I think that picture that we just looked at now was, it was really strong. Well, I did get the sense that Amito was very focused in this picture, that she found sort of some kind of center in the midst of this incredible chaos around her. And for me, I think that's a very powerful shot. All right, thank you, Amito. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Okwayemi. Beautiful skirt. Let's look at your best picture. Um, I think it's an okay shot. You know, it's a little awkward with both the bag and the phone. It's kind of like, product, product number two. So I'm weak on it. I'm not blown away by the photograph, the, the, the end product. And the way you're holding that handbag really doesn't work for me. It drives me crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Like, <laughs> no, it was a one much. finger handbag. Oh. It, just, it didn't work at all. I would criticize you because the bag is actually very pretty on the side, so you should have shown what it looked like. In front. But um, this particular image is not a successful image of what you're trying to sell. Thanks, Thank Okwe. you. And next is Chiandre. Was it too much of a laugh? It doesn't look so believable to me. What do you what do you think? What do you guys think? I, I loved watching Chandra. I actually visited the set so I saw some of the girls work. I love Chandra for many reasons. I think one of them is the fact that Look, you're not built like the average fashion model. You're shorter, but you've listened over time and you've made you made yourself longer. Some of the poses you did, you jumped, you extended yourself. You tried to pose like you were 6 feet tall and you were adventurous. You you put your foot on the goat. You did so many things. So you gave tons of variation. I think you are projecting a lot of energy. This is probably um, all the kind of face that, or whatever energy that one might want to see in a sort of commercial. Uh, as a fashion picture, it doesn't work for me. But I also looked at some of the video footage of what was going on, and I think she really was very animated, which I quite liked. I mean, there was no fear, there was no apprehension. She just moved very comfortably. All right, thank you. Thank you. Joycey. Beautiful dress. Unfortunately for me, in that photograph, your, your face doesn't work at all. Um, you are jumping, which is, which is difficult to keep a maybe um, more serious or, or modely looking face. <laughs> and then when you're coming down, you know, it's just, it's not great on the face. For me, this doesn't work. For me, as I look at you now, you've got like a quite a strong, just internal peace and regality, which I would have liked to have had in the midst of all that chaos. But the picture doesn't work for me. Thank you. Ruslan. Hi, Ruslan. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> now that's a great picture. You did a great job. Were you I, trying to take a picture of yourself? Yes, I, to, I, I take selfies, they say, a lot. Okay. <laughs> so I, I try to imagine myself taking a selfie of myself. I think that it's very good that you are conscious of your face, yes, you know. So, um, so for me, this picture really works. Um, I like yes. the leg position. Yes, um, yes, it worked. And, and you showed the Etisalat phone really nicely. Yeah. I saw her on set and I was surprised. You know, I've seen you do well. I've never seen you do this well. Oh. So you rocked it. You were conscious of the product, the clothes, your light, the goats. You, you blew me away. That was great. Josie? I, I think she looks great in this shot. I love the way you're standing. Um, you look confident. You, you, your hand is really tight on the goats. I think, I think it really works in every way, this picture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi. I believe that, that when you started, th there was a bit of a problem in the neighborhood and things got a bit tricky. And I believe you, you held your composure and uh, you were professional enough not to let that stuff bother you. And I think your finished product, I mean, you look confident in the shot, you know. Uh, you seem to have held your composure, so well done. Um, 
face, there was a bit of a tightness to the sneer. It wasn't quite fierce, wasn't quite commercial. I don't think that you were conscious enough of the camera. I don't think that you brought out the best because what we need is your center. All right, thanks. Thank you. Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Hi. I like the head wrap. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do at the shoot? Did you like it? Yes, I like it. I think I do well in the scare because I have a, one big bracelet, the cell phone, one bag, and the... The goats. The goats. In odd time, I try pose the boats, try eat my bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> and I just say, please don't eat me, please don't eat me. So it's funny. Okay, let's look at your best picture. I personally am not a... F in, uh, in favor of the pose. It shouldn't actually ever happen that you find yourself in that pose. I actually think that is, like as a model, a no-no pose. That is a very uh, amateurish um, fashion pose. Michaela, you're a beautiful girl. You have so much that you bring to the table. You just seem to forget it before coming to set. And you've got to keep, I don't know, do you want to model? Do you want to be here? Yes, I want, but sometimes I say in the girl, so I miss my home. I went to New York, I was 17. Shipped out to New York. But I still have my family, and they love me more because I'm a success story. The whole country of Angola is written for you. Okay. So if you don't want this, you need to make up your mind. Thank you, you can go. Now all us judges will deliberate. When you come back, we'll let you know which one of you will be going home. So what are, what, what are we thinking? Well, this was apparently a challenging shoot for a lot of the girls. Michaela keeps looking like she wants to go home. I'm losing patience with Michaela. You know, this, this whole shrinking violet thing that she does, it, it's only gonna take her so far. She has to actually know whether or not she wants to model. Going back to Shiandri, what are we thinking? Do we like this shot? Because she's taken a lot of great pictures. Mm -hmm. She doesn't, to me, um, she lacks the height. Mm -hmm. You say she really makes her look Self look tall. Well, you know, Kate Moss is short and makes herself look Amazing. tall. Exactly. Uh, so, as if she was going to be a photographic model, great. She mm. could. She could do it. Joycey. <laughs> oh, Joyce. Oh, Joyce. In one day, out the next with this girl, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. One of my favorite girls is Michelle. Yes. She is a character. Like you said last week, Aluchi, good enough just may not be good enough anymore. Yeah. Michelle she, shows the, the, the phone. She wow. Andre completely lost yeah, you the can't even see it. phone. Mm -hmm. We didn't see it at all. Yeah, the, the, the picture between Rosalind and uh, Michelle, Michelle. The, their pose is quite it's similar, serious. but the True. goats obviously are really working in Rosalind's pictures, and the goats aren't working there at all for her. True. Oh, Miami. <laughs> Miami. It's very 50s model, like yes. product, product. The goats look good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's call them back. Okay. Let's call them back in. Welcome back, ladies. Just a quick reminder that one of the objectives of this show is to groom and identify a new generation of African supermodels. I have seven of you standing before me, but only have six photos in my hands. The first name that I'm going to call is the name of the girl voted by the judges as the best picture in this challenge. And the reward for that is an iPad from Eti Salat.
congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Africa's next top model. Thank you. Okwayemi. Michelle. Shihandu. Congratulations. Michaela and Joyce, please step forward. Michaela, what do you have to say? Um, I just want to say sorry. It's not my intention disappointing you or my country, so I can do best all the time. But where is your mind? Why are you so emotional? Is it about a boyfriend? You can have 10 boyfriends when no. you win this competition. No, no, it's about my boyfriend. She's like a sister to me now. So it's really hard seeing her leave now. I felt that Michaela doesn't want to be here. They should rather send her home and have Joyce stay. Joyce really wanted this. I feel bad because Joyce is a great model, so I don't know what I can say about this. So. Next on Africa's Next Top Model. And you're going to have a very beautiful male model as your prop. <laughs> Dave Kabamba! I can do a dominant. You're leaving us. How come I never saw that coming, you know?